I basically willed myself to do this. I didn't. I had never met a writer before. I'd never taken a writing class. I just had this cockamamie idea that I could do it. And in my uh, being naive, I, I didn't know what I was really up against. So I wrote a book on my own, and I sent it away. I sent it up to New York blind. I sent it up to one publisher that I thought might be interested. When was this? 1989, 1990, something like that. And I waited a year to hear back from them. And I got a call on my answering machine one day, and they said, uh, we just now picked up your book off the slush pile, and we would like to publish it. So that's how it worked for me. No agents, no connections, nothing like that. I tell that story because if anybody's watching who wants to do something like that, it is possible, you know? The year that I, that I wrote the book, um, I was working in a bar, and uh, during the day I ran the kitchen, and at night I stepped behind the bar. I was working a pretty long day, and then I'd come home at night and I'd write. Or I'd get up at four in the morning and I'd write. You know, I, I was just very determined to. And you loved it? Yeah, I loved it, man. I still like it. What part of Greece is your family from? Sparti, both of them. Uh, my dad was born in uh, Vordonia, a village in Sparta. And my mom is 100% Spartan, born in America. Um, do you visit Greece often? Not as often as I'd like. Uh, I am published there, so I go over for business. and. Um, my plan is to go more as my responsibilities of my family get, you know, get less. I live in Silver Spring, Maryland, which is just steps over the Washington, D.C. line. And have you thought about possibly making the move to Hollywood for your career? Or? No. <laughs> You're happy where you are? <laughs> well, uh, I, my main um, business is writing novels about the city, and I tend to keep doing that, and my body of work will all be about Washington, D.C., so and the other thing is my mom is still alive and, and I'm not leaving her, you know, as long as she's around, so. You're an author, but mm -hmm. you also direct and produce. Would you primarily consider yourself an author or what would you, what are you the most? Well, I usually say professional writer because that, that connotes um, that I'm a working man and it's not all gravy and, you know, sitting in that stupid chair with your name on the back of it and telling people what to do, you know. Um, but of all the things that I do, I think the thing that I love the most is writing novels. You have a series of novels, and the main character is, I believe, a Greek-American detective? That was a long time ago. Those, my first three books featured that guy, okay. Nick Stephanos. Can you tell us a little bit about that character and how you came up with it? Well, he was, it's no secret, he was, uh, uh, a, lot of, a lot of me was in that character at the time. And, um, he was a guy in the first book who sort of burned down his old life and his career to become a detective. And I did the same thing to become a writer. I, I was running a, um, a chain of retail stores in Washington. I had a career. I was 30 years old and I hated it, you know. And I walked away from it to be a writer and to take that gamble to become a writer. And um, so the similarities were very close there. However, he's a guy who has a lot a lot of problems. When I became a writer, I sort of walked away from a lot of things that I was doing at the time and, and focused on that and my family and so on. But he gets worse and worse with his problems. Specifically, God drinks a lot. Out of all the books that you've written, which is your favorite? Well, I think, uh, first of all, I think I'm getting better. So the, the later books I hold in higher regard. Although, you know, I look at back at what I did and then look at it as a learning process and also I always felt like I did the best I could at the time. Um, I think that as of now, the book that I would always recommend to people is a book called Hard Revolution. It's set in the 60s. It centers around the riots of 68 that happened after the Martin Luther King assassination. And I just put a lot into that book, I, everything that I had, and I think, it's, I think it's a pretty good piece of work. So what about the one over here? <laughs> My new book, yeah, yeah, The Way Home. I'm very happy with it. It's. Um, it's, a, it's on the surface, it's sort of a simple story. It's about what happens between a father and a son when the son is sent to a juvenile prison and for basically for being a teenager that's a little bit out of control. And the book covers 10 years in their lives and you fast forward to this, to him as a young man who's working for his father, trying to go straight, has made a lot of relationships in prison and brought some of those boys al along with him and it's how there is a central conflict of the novel that threatens to topple everything that he's tried to do, but it's really about this father and son and how they come back together, hence the title, The Way Home. You know, how do you find, it's about family, yeah, it's, 
You, you, very, you said it very succinctly. It took me 10 minutes to say that. <laughs> you collaborated with Tom Hanks on mm -hmm. The Pacific, the new yes. TV series coming out next month. Yeah. Um, how was how your relationship with Tom and how was working with him? It was, uh, well, first of all, he was engaged. I mean, he wasn't just a producer uh, in name. He was in on the writing meetings and he was always there. And so, um, and, and we worked together, that's all I can tell you, because I, I don't want to overstate it, like, yeah, we were having beers at night, or he took me home to his family. It was a working relationship. It was fine, and I'm very, very happy with the um, results. Would you say that Tom has become more Greek, or he is, he's turned Greek, <laughs> would you say? Uh, you know, we, we, didn't, um, we didn't talk about that much, but I've, I've spoken to friends who are Greek who have met him, and he will often introduce himself and speak Greek. So, yes, the answer is yes, he is getting more Greek. Do you have any future projects in the making or anything coming up? Well, there's another show that's coming on in April on HBO. It's called Treme. Okay. And it is from my partners on The Wire, which I worked on The Wire for five years. And um, it's our new show set in New Orleans. And it's about musicians and restaurateurs and working class people and how they rebuilt their lives after the hurricane. The guy who created the show, David Simon, who had read some of my books, and he saw that I was doing in Washington what he was doing in Baltimore, essentially the, looking at the social problems against the backdrop of a crime fiction sort of thing. And he asked me to, to write one show in the first year, and I did it. And then he wrote me into the second year as a producer because he said, listen, we're going to have a lot of Greek characters this year. Nobody speaks Greek. Nobody, you know, We really need you, man, that kind of thing. Okay, I came on as a producer. It turns out at the end of the season, the main character who's called the Greek, in one of his last lines, he says to one of his friends, I'm not even Greek. So he, got, he hood, hoodwinked me into doing this thing, you know, but it was good. I was glad he did. Do you, would you say that Greek Americans or Greek American brothers help each other in the industry? I absolutely am here because of uh, Jim and Ted Pettis, who are at this conference today. And uh, I worked for them for 10 years. They had a film production business and movie theaters. And they produced many of the Coen Brothers movies early on. And I learned the film business because of them. And, and because of that, um, when I went to work on The Wire as a writer, when I went on set, they saw me and they said, well, this, this guy knows what he's doing. He knows how to produce. They immediately made me a producer. In addition to that, you know, there's a guy named Kerry Antholis at HBO who I've worked with for many years. I baptized one of his kids. He's also always been very helpful. Um, the answer is yes. I mean, my experience with Greek Americans in this business has been awesome, man. You can't avoid them. They're everywhere. Well, Jim Giannopoulos <laughs> yeah. called me out of the blue one day. Sure. You know, he's a Hellenophone. So everybody's been good.